Okay, campers, rev up the old taste buds. I'm about to prepare my once-in-a-summertime dessert. Marshmallows, chocolate bars, graham crackers. Separately, they are harmless sweets. But together, they become s'mores. That's because you always want s'more of them. Get it? <laughs> Sticky stuff, but that's half the fun. Oof. Looks like they're s'more than you can handle. Better get a real pastry chef next time. <laughs> we tried that once. It, it didn't work out too well. It all started at sunrise one morning. The birds were singing. While strolling through the park one day. The wind whistled through the pines. And our campers greeted the new morning with their own cheery song. Food, waiter, waiter, water, food, waiter, water. We want something good to eat. So don't fall asleep on your feet. Our trusty cook, Botch's old basketball team, was having its annual reunion. That made me chef for a day. Go! How about the little one on one before I leave? Gee, I, I, I'd love to, Botch, but uh, I have to get breakfast for the kids. While I'm gone, why not just give the little munchkins some of these to eat? Sugar squids. Uh, thanks, Botch, but I want the kids to have real camp food, like these hearty pancakes I made from my own secret recipe. Don't send me any leftovers. Once Botch left, I was on my own. Luckily, I was born to be a chef. But I just wasn't born to be a waiter. Whoa! Ah! Hello? It's the camping magazine. The toasted marshmallow. Calvin Pigeon knows the famous camp food critic is coming to rate our food? That's great! I'll cook him a meal he'll never forget. What a time for Bosch to leave. We cannot let Calvin Pigeon Nose taste this stuff. Yeah, Mr. Pigeon Nose rates everything on a scale of 1 to 10 toasted marshmallows. Remember what happened to Camp Sumac? Mr. Pigeon Nose only gave it one toasted marshmallow, and the place had to close down. Winchley tastes John's food. What are we going to do? Yeah, for starters, how about getting rid of these things? Yeah, they won't biodegrade for a thousand years. Whatever we're gonna do, we better do it fast. Nice to meet you, Mr. Take this. I smell a nasty review coming on. I'm a way way to the hell. I can't catch it. I see you're wearing Kemp Candy's special brand of sunblock. <laughs> oh, so you think being bald is funny, do you? No, no, see, I, I use it too. <laughs> you cannot humor me into a good review. Many have tried, all have failed. Now, where is the meal I'm going to rake over the coals? Um, uh, right here, Mr. Uh, Pigeon Nose. Uh, there was a plate of pancakes here a minute ago. I... I, I... You would not try to hide any disgusting, nauseating food from me, would you? Uh, no. If we had any disgusting, nauseating food, we'd give you all you wanted. We're in our formative years. We ate every last one. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. Yeah, the kids can't get enough of them. I'll just go whip up another batch. Never mind. I'm late for my next assault on bad food. But I'll be back for dinner with my poison pen. <laughs> Dinner. Hmm. I'd better whip up some hot dogs and a batch of my special barbecue sauce. Oh, no. Now we're really in trouble. Girl, this is bad. John means well, but he cannot cook, and we cannot let Calvin Pigeon O's find out. That's it. You won't have to. I'll simply summon our family cook, the world's famous chef, Wolfgang Duck Sausage. He can help John. Dinner! Dinner you will help right. What's that? Wolfgang Duck Sausage, world-famous chef. Hmm, I wonder what he wants. Well, I guess I invited him, John. Oh, hi. I see. I thought John knew you invited this Wolfgang guy to cook for us. Well, Robin, not exactly. But John will love Wolfgang. He's such a sweet man. You, hand me that fresh asparagus. Wait, Mr. Duck Sausage, we need to have a little talk. No! Hey, you are schmutzing up my tools! Shoo! Out of my kitchen! I see you met Wolfgang, our family chef. He's going to help you cook. Thanks, Vanessa. He's been a big help so far.
<gasps> Don't touch that book! It contains my secret recipes! I cannot cook without them! Wolfgang will help you make us a great meal! That is right! We will make duck soup yaya, a sopuko with mango chutney ragout lace, and for dessert, shiitake fennel balls dipped in jellucent sauce. I was going to serve some beans and franks with my special barbecue sauce. You know, camping food. They call these hot dogs because they are for the hound. <sighs> I, I guess the menu set. Chutney yaya, shiitake buku, also ducks. If you need me, just holler. I swear, Vanessa, you have gone too far. You hurt John's feelings. Me? Robin, you knew I was called Wolfgang. To help John, not kick him out of his own kitchen. And especially not to make this, this trendy mush. Yuck. Good duck sausage. <coughs> you! Oh! John? Oh, hi, I... Guess I took my eye off the ball. <laughs> we came to apologize. We didn't know Duck Sausage was going to be such a loser. Yeah, we all want him out of here. I can't kick him out. See, Vanessa asked him here to help me. She was just trying to do something for the camp. John, John, the most terrible thing has happened. What's wrong, Vanessa? Wolfgang has run out of arugula. What the heck is arugula? It's like lettuce, only more expensive. <sighs> arugula. Wolfgang needed arugula for his Oso Buko, but the rare arugula plant could only be found in one place, Lazy Susan Island. The arugula plant grew on the most dangerous part of Lazy Susan Island, the lettuce patch. Alex volunteered to go alone into the patch. They looked like harmless heads of lettuce, but... Hey, get your smelly feet out of my face! We don't come rolling through your people, Patch! I'll only be a second! Wolfgang and I decided we'd have to work together if dinner was going to be ready when Mr. Pigeon Nose arrived. You will do exactly what I say. I am the master chef. Note, I have set a spoon here on the slowest setting. Now, mix the better. Wolfgang had so many electric gadgets, it made my head spin. <laughs> I guess that was a book you could really sink your teeth into. <laughs> you got it? Hey, he's back. Pigeon knows that is. No, I didn't stall him. We'll be right there. Quick, whip something up. My book has become soup. I cannot cook without a recipe. But I promised my friends you'd save Cap Candy. You have to try. We here at Cafe Candy believe atmosphere is essential to the enjoyment of a good meal. You know, I used to have shiny, manageable hair before I started eating camp food. While the kids entertained Mr. Pigeon Nose, Wolfgang used every one of his gadgets, desperately trying to make his meal for memory. All that did was cause the most gigantic power outage you can imagine. This is dinner? <laughs> I guess even plain barbecue sauce would be better than this mess. <laughs> barbecue sauce. My recipe calls for a pinch of salt. Yes! A dash of Tabasco. A shaving of cheddar cheese. The rest of the recipe is kind of top secret. Mainly because I can never remember it. <laughs> but it always comes out great. You call this smelly, drippy concoction a meal fit for human beings? Don't worry, Mr. Pigeon Nose. You're gonna love it. I'd better. If not, you can kiss your camp goodbye. Huh? Hair! Hair! Your sauce grew hair on my head! Hey, I'm sorry. We can cut it right off. No problem. Don't you touch one hair. I love it. I love you. I love your sauce. Yeah! Needless to say, we got our rave review. <laughs> I guess John proved that camp food is the best food. But Wolfgang only agreed to use John's sauce out of desperation. 
Yeah, then how come he's still trying to figure out his secret recipe? <laughs> it all started at the crack of dawn, one damp, drizzly morning. <laughs> It was counselor in training Duncan's turn to choose the day's activity, and he decided the kids needed a real camping experience. Oh, it's the middle of the night. What gives, Duncan? Are we in a new time zone? We are going on the ultimate camping experience, Head Counselor Candy. First, a survival hike. A survival hike? All right! Oh. Then, an overnighter with no food. No food? Great for the diet. Ah! We'll forage for roots, grubs, and edible thorns. Edible thorns? Excellent! <gasps> we'll go straight up, mount, no deposit, no return. <gasps> no return is right. <clears throat> we leave here at zero nine hundred hours. It'll be the camping experience of a lifetime. Not in my lifetime, I hope. Edible thorns, huh? I can try out my new mess kit. And I can try out my new solar-powered sauna. What? Don't make me go, John. Send me home in disgrace. Anything, please. Iggy had a plan. He was determined to miss the hike no matter what. I'll break out in the dreaded edges and nervous or a rash. This has got to work. Oh, don't worry, Iggy. The fresh air on your hike will help your spots. Oh. And uh, next time, don't use a permanent laundry marker. <laughs> Somehow, Iggy disappeared on the way back to his cabin. Iggy! Iggy! Hey, Iggy! He was just here. Now where did he go? Oh, Iggy! That's the tree that was infested with those giant flying poisonous water beetles last week. <laughs> Aren't you gonna pack for the hike? The only thing I'm packing for is home. But you can't go home. It'll be no fun here without you. It'll be no fun with me if I have to eat edible thorns. Come on, I have a plan. Iggy and Vicky headed down to the general store, which had just been taken over by the no good Rex DeForest III. Come on, Binky. You're my witness. Yeah, put another can on the top. The boss likes his beans stacked high. And he wants a picture of the display. Smile, lady. What are you doing? Maybe if I steal something, I'll get sent home. But, shh. I've got to steal something fast before I hyperventilate. Just don't fall up on my shoes again. This is for a compass I'm gonna steal. You're paying to steal? Shh, Binky, just be a silent witness. Hey, what are those Camp Candy kids doing here? Iggy did everything in his power to get caught. <gasps> Exhibit A, Yahoo! Wait till the boss is this. What a neat compass. Think I'll steal it. Did you say something, Chester? <laughs> uh, gotta go now. Uh, could you fix those beans, lady? Hey, Iggy, Chester's following us. Good busted. They're coming to take me away. <laughs> but Chester had a different plan. He couldn't wait to see Rex and uh, spill the beans. It was almost time to hit the trail, and Iggy was counting on Binky to turn him in. But Binky had his own plan. 
Don't you think you ought to tell John about the stolen compass in my pants pocket so I can go home in disgrace? Meanwhile, it was getting close to departure time, and I was working the kinks out of the new state-of-the-art flag racing device. Whoa, it works! What'll I do? I've got to get rid of this. I should tell John, but I can't tell John. Hey, John! What's up, Binky? i got to tell the truth. I, uh, got you a new compact. A uh, uh, compact? Oh, uh, a compass. Th that's great, Binky. I'll come get it. It's OK. I'll bring it up. Whoa! Thanks, Binky. This will come in handy on our hike. Where'd you get it? I, uh, I found it. Yeah! You're welcome, John. Boss, I've got Exhibit B. It's about time, you shutterbug brain. Meet me at the sheriff's station. Well, that's a big 10-6, boss. <laughs> Over and up. Where's that sheriff? You did tell John, didn't you? Uh, uh, yeah, I told him. Take five, campers. <laughs> oh, this fresh mountain air is making me sick. I should be in a nice jail cell waiting to be sent home. I'm telling you, Head Counselor Candy is the one behind this crime wave. Crime wave? Since when's it a crime to eat edible thorns? There's my compass. How much is this compass worth? No, uh, two dollars. We need to talk about the compass, John. No need for the rubber hoses, officer. I confess. I've got it right. I know it's here. I stole it. Wait, I'll go back and steal another one. Just take me away. Spare my brother. I took the compass. What do you mean, you took it? Hey, come on, come on. I can vouch for these kids, Sheriff. They're not thieves. Look who's talking. The hey. ringleader. The kingpin forces little tykes to steal. Mm. Well, John, you want to talk about this here compass? Where'd it come from? Well, uh, it was a, a gift. He confessed. Case closed. Now we can shut down Camp Candy in disgrace. And the land is mine. All oh, mine! Now let's all go down to the station and straighten this out. <laughs> trouble. I just took the compass so I wouldn't have to go on the hike. And I gave it away so Iggy wouldn't have to go to prison. It's okay, guys. I'm their counselor. I'm responsible for them. See, he confessed. He admits he's responsible for all these crimes. Oh, what crimes? It wasn't really stealing. I paid five whole bucks for it. It's true. He put the money under the I Love Broccoli t-shirt. Well, I'll have to check this out. Oh, I found the five bucks, boss, right where that brat said it was. Hide it, dummy, quick! <laughs> then can I take a candy bar? Yes, you nitwit. Just get rid of that evidence. I'm pleased to announce the closing of Camp Candy. When a counselor teaches his campers to steal, the camp doesn't deserve to stay in business. But I really did leave the money. I believe you, Iggy. I told the sheriff that I believed Iggy and that we couldn't let that land-hungry, slimeball de forest close the camp. Right. Timeshare condominium units with every modern convenience. Sheriff, get these thieves off my land. Uh, you bet, boss. And I'll start with this dumb dog. Careful, Lucky doesn't like to be called dumb. <laughs> hey, give me back my candy bar, you even mutt. Look, that's my money. Yeah, sure, it's yours, kid. How do you know? This is for the compass. Sincerely yours, Iggy. Give me that. It's mine. Correction, it's Exhibit C. And it looks like you owe this little fella $3 change plus interest. Now pay up and vacate this land before I arrest you for trespassing. Yeah!
May we now resume our hike, Head Counselor Candy? Um, uh, yeah, you guys go on without us. Iggy and I'll stay behind. You know, the first half of the hike wasn't that bad. I mean, I'm still alive. Come on, Iggy. You can try out your new compass. Mount no deposit, no return. Here we come. Okay, guys, let's hit the trail. We can gather some recipes for my new edible thorn cookbook. Mmm, what a taste treat. <laughs>